but oh ooh. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen it is hot in here I am sweating in places that I shouldn't be. Why do I feel like I have a mullet? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kristen Dominique. I am a beauty creator, mom, and founder of Dominique Cosmetics. So welcome to my little home on YouTube. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to get this super sun-kissed, glowy look without using highlight and with using more blush because I've been obsessed with blush, I love how it just makes your cheeks look like you just got back from the beach and you've just been kind of laying out for a little bit. Also, a small portion of this video is sponsored by CoverGirl. It's this lip that I'm obsessed with, so I'm so excited to be partnering up with them on this. But I wanted to share something that's effortless, sun-kissed and bronze. I feel like it's a perfect time for this type of look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, a little quick update on my life. I'm actually working on my family vlog channel right now. If you didn't know that, I do have a vlog channel. I haven't used it since last year because there were things that I need to explain on that channel. I don't want to get into too much detail on this channel. My husband and I kind of have a couple therapy on there and we will get back to that next week. So look forward to that and more family videos with us. We're really excited to get into it. But before I start this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the Dom fam. And without further ado, let's get into this video. I've already done my brows and I kind of did them because because they take forever. Same song, different dance. It's the same thing. So I'm gonna start with priming my face. I'm using this Dewy Skin Primer and it's very hydrating. I wanna do this because my skin is dry, especially in the summertime. It needs all the love and hydration it can get. This Cover FX primer is like a gel. I've never tried this before, but it feels really interesting. Like very, very hydrating. Obviously, that's what it does. But it feels like it's sinking in to the skin and then leaving this plump, tacky layer on top. If you have oily skin, I don't know how you would feel about this, but I like it. It's summertime and I need SPF on my face. During the summertime, I want SPF. I actually want SPF no matter what season it is, but especially if I'm out, it's hot, the sun is beaming. So I'm gonna be using this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and it has an SPF of 20. So I already have SPF in my moisturizer before I start my makeup. Like after I wash my face in the morning, I always put on a moisturizing SPF. And that has a little bit more than this one. And I thought this would be perfect because it's a cream hydrating moisturizer, but it has a little bit of coverage and a little bit of color. So it's just going to even out my skin tone. So I'm putting it on my hand like this and this looks really messy, but I'm gonna do it because I've been really loving using my fingers to apply my makeup, especially if it's more of a lightweight kind of coverage. It just feels so nice on the skin. And all I wanna do here is just add a soft layer of even tone on my face. By the way, you guys, my rings, look at this, so, so cute. They're from Miss Lola, and they have this like butterfly collection of rings and jewelry, and it's so cute. I wanted to share that with you guys because I'm obsessed. It's something that I've been noticing a lot of brands have been coming out with butterflies, and I think it's the cutest thing. I haven't had my nails on for about a week, and it feels great. I'm able to do things, but I'm not able to flip a tortilla without getting burnt, and I don't like use utensils for that, so that's the only downfall. By the way, you guys, my nail polish, this finger is jacked up, but look at this color, it's so pretty, very natural. This is from the Lights Lacquer collection of Your Nails But Better. It almost reminds me of foundation. It's the perfect shade of neutral for every skin tone, and I absolutely love them. I'll link them below. So if I'm doing something that's more summertime, I want my skin to breathe. I am gonna put concealer on, so don't worry. I will be covering up my under eye circles and little uneven spots that I still have. But overall, my skin is able to breathe and look even and dewy and just healthy. And I love when my skin just feels free. I'm just gonna go over everything with just a big fluffy face brush. For my dark spots and unevenness, I'm going in with two concealers. One concealer is more warm and peachy and the other one's more brightening. So I'm gonna kind of color correct with both of these. The warm and peachy color is called warm nude. I'm gonna put that in the places that are pretty deep. So right in here, over here, like all the deep tones on my face. I'm gonna blend it in. So anything that's like salmon or peachy, 
is going to help color correct my skin tone. If you're close to my skin tone, I'd suggest using something more peachy so that you don't have to use as much concealer or you don't have to be as heavy with it. Even though I am putting on, you know, two different shades, I'm not putting on a lot of it. Now I'm gonna go in with Golden Ivory to brighten and I'll just pop that on right on top. And I like to go right down for me right along the side of my nose and just right underneath. Not in a triangle all the way out here, just down here because I have more of like a bag happening underneath my eye. And so when I bring down the concealer, it kind of distracts the eye and makes it look more elongated and it doesn't focus too much on the bag. At least that's what makes sense to me in my head. And then I'm gonna go down my nose just a little bit. I'm actually not gonna go all the way down and right in here. And I'm softly tapping the brush over the concealer. You just have so much more control over the coverage and the shape. Now I'm gonna go over with a clean beauty sponge and just make sure all the edges are nice and blended together. There are no harsh lines anywhere. And just to even out my upper lid space, I'm gonna put some concealer here as well. Not too much. All right, so now that my face is even, I like the coverage on it. It's still very dewy and I like it. That's just my personal preference. I want to add structure to my face now. So I'm going to be taking the Benefit Hoola Bronzer in Caramel. I think I'll be using this brush from Hank and Henry's. This is the Trish brush to contour. I'm going to do the nose first. That looks like a lot, but it really isn't because I'm going to blend it all out. I'm just doing a very soft contour. If you really want some structure, you can use more products and spend a little bit more time. But typically this is all I wanna do with my nose is just narrow down this part. And then for the rest of my face, like I wanna bring down my forehead. So I'll just add bronzer here, take a fluffier brush, just blend it out. It's just a quick, easy, fast way to do this. It also brings some warmth to your face, which I really love. Also connect the temples right there down to the cheekbone and then just start to blend everything together. I'm actually gonna take Toasted. Toasted is a very rich color. I'm gonna take that and start to kind of really chisel the bone structure on my cheek. So I'm only putting it where I really want to narrow down this area. And I'm taking this fluffier brush and just sweeping it upwards, quick, soft, motions. I'm gonna do the sides of the chin just so it looks a little bit more natural there. I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of this caramel bronzer. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, a clean one, this one right here, and I'm just gonna go over my cheeks like this. We wanna bring that sun-kissed look in closer to my nose. And it's actually okay that I'm bringing it on top of my concealer a little bit. It makes it look more natural. I do feel like I'm losing my nose contour a little bit, so I'm gonna add a little bit there. All right, so we are pretty sun-kissed. I'm gonna bring it down to my neck as well. I feel like my face is a little bit lighter because I exfoliate so much. So I'm gonna go in with this brush from Sigma. It's a tapered blending brush, the E40. I'm gonna take Hoola and just go right into the crease. Use the same color just to add structure and a little bit of depth and warmth right in the eye, something very natural. And then I'm blending it upwards towards the tail of the brow, something very simple and soft. And then right underneath my lower lash line, I'm gonna add some more bronzer. This is like my must have favorite thing to do is putting a little bit of bronzer right underneath the lower lash line. Just makes it look more natural. I'm gonna go in with powder on the lid. So super easy. I'm just gonna take my Marc Jacobs powder in Accomplice number 50. It's just a brightening powder, kind of like a setting powder. I'm gonna take that with this brush right here and just pop it onto the lid. I just feel like it makes the eye look more open and awake and it kind of helps to blend the bottom of that bronzer shade. Just see the difference. I love adding a simple setting powder to the, to the lid. We are awake, we're alive. I'm actually gonna put some in the inner corners too. And the brow bone really quickly. Now I'm gonna go in with some blush and for the blush I want something that has a little bit of a sheen to it. And this one is perfect. This is the NARS Orgasm Blush. I'm just gonna pop that on my cheeks. And I'm gonna pop it over the nose so it gives you that sun-kissed look. Love that look. I'm actually gonna take it pretty high up. 
I feel like a lot of these techniques are in my no makeup makeup video, but it also works so perfectly for a effortless like summer sun kiss kind of a look. I'm gonna go over with a beauty blender. Make sure there's no crazy lines anywhere. I actually bring some up on the temple right here. I feel like I actually was in the sun. Doesn't it look like it? Like I feel like I was actually, I just came back from the beach. It's on my temples, it's on my face, on my nose. It looks very realistic right now. Very proud of myself. As you guys can see, I have lost some of this concealer and I do like this area to look a little bit more bright. So I'm gonna go back in with my concealer right in here and just dab it right along that spot. And then strategically taking my blush and going a little further on top without losing that brightness that we just added. So now I'm gonna add some eyeliner on the top of my lash line. I'm gonna take this KVD Cake Pencil and this is in Mad Max Brown. And I'm just gonna take it right on the edge of the eye. And I don't want it to be perfect, I just kind of want it to look smudged. Not really being too precise with it. And then I'm gonna smudge it around with this brush. This is a short shader brush. This is an E20 from Sigma. And I'm just gonna flick this liner outwards like that. Almost looks like the, the fox eye a little bit, but it's not. So just like that, I'm gonna do that on both sides. Now that that's on there, I have more of a lifted eye shape that I want. I'm gonna go in with Toasted right here. I love this color, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna take that shader brush I was using and just go right over that eyeliner and it's gonna stay in place all day. And the thing about this entire look is you don't have to be perfect or precise with your application, you can just be a little messy because everything's a little more soft focus. Using this tiny mascara, I've been into smaller, more travel size things. I don't know why, I just, I have the full size here, but I like to carry this one. I go from my home to the office. This is my office, like the studio, and they're like two minutes away. So I just, I'd rather put this little tiny travel size in my bag than that bigger size one. I don't know. Maybe it's just like a thing, I'm phase I'm going through, but I really love mini products right now. So you guys could skip this. For me, I put on lashes pretty quickly, and these are very, very natural. These are from Charlotte Tilbury. Very, very natural, but it's gonna add a little something extra to my lashes. So I'm gonna add this to my eyes. Again, this is super optional. If you can't do this in 10 minutes, then totally don't do it. Also, I went too high with the eyeliner, so just in case you guys do the same thing, I'm going in with that setting powder and just going right over that to shape it down. All right, so now that the lashes are meshed together, I am gonna put a little bit of bronzer. This one's from Laura Mercier. It's a little bit lighter and I love the coconut scent in it. It's called Soleil and it's the number one shade. And I'm just putting it right here and right on the lower part of my lip. So it looks more pouty without putting on a lip liner. Obviously, you know, blend it out. <laughs> Don't make a mustache for yourself, but you'll see it's gonna look so good once we put the, the lip on. For my lips today, I'm gonna be using the new CoverGirl, so excited to use this, the new Outlast Ultimat liquid lipstick. And I have the shades 170 Tickled Pink, and I'm going in between this one right here and this guy over here. This is the 105 Very Sancerre, and I'm trying to figure out which one is gonna go with the look. I feel like any one will go, but which one will make it more summery. This top one right here is tickled pink and the bottom one is very sincere. They're both so pretty. The formula seems to look really lightweight. It's gonna be this one. I'm gonna go with tickled pink. I love when lips smell like candy. That's what this smells like. It smells so good. It's a wine inspired lip collection. There's 12 shades and six additional shades you can get exclusively at Walmart. I'll have the link below for you guys so you can check it out. And the liquid lipstick is supposed to last up to 24 hours without drying your lips. It's super comfortable. It doesn't seep into the lines on your lips. It kind of smooths over the lines. I really like how comfortable this feels on my lips right now. I definitely would suggest you guys go and try this. I could wear this all day. Also, this liquid lip is cruelty-free and vegan, which is awesome. And it's supposed to be smudge-proof and transfer-resistant, so I'm gonna try that on my hand right now, pretending this is Caesar. Oh my God, nothing.
I love it. I am sold. I sold myself. <laughs> I really, really like this freaking liquid lip. So after I'm done with everything, I'm gonna set it in place with my Marc Jacobs setting powder. It's a pressed powder. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, so it's not flat. All right, that is the final look. I have my hair natural today. Just I just put like mousse in it. So these are my natural waves. By the way, you guys, this top is so freaking cute. It's from Luca and Gray. It's Aspen Overs line and it's so freaking cute. It's a halter top. I'll also link this in my description for you guys. And that is it. This is the final look. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. There's a little thumbs up button you can press there. It helps my channel out a lot. So if you can press it, that would be amazing. And if you missed these two videos on the side, make sure to check them out. That's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys. Thank you for spending some time with me. I know that we're all still in this weird state and it is getting better. I can definitely tell you that we will get better. And it all starts with us. It starts with how we care for ourselves. It starts with our mindset and just having a positive outlook. I know it's kind of tough for some people, but we will get through this together. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.